Today's lesson, guys, is on section 2.8 in your textbook, um, and it, it relates to something called the reciprocal of a real number. It also deals with simplifying with fractions. Um, all right, so let's just re recall what a reciprocal is. And yes, I'm still here, so look for me, even though you can't see me. Um, so two numbers whose product is 1 are called reciprocals. That's the actual definition of a reciprocal. So for example, 1 half, and it's reciprocal, we just flip it over, times 2. 1 half and 2 are reciprocals, and if I multiply them, which is the word product, if I multiply them, they are going to equal 1. All right, so let's just talk about reciprocals, for example. If I say to you 2 um, thirds, how about 2 thirds? Its reciprocal would be 3 halves. If I say to you 5, remember that 5 is really kind of over 1, so its reciprocal would be 1 fifth. Okay? All right, so basically with a reciprocal, you just take the value and you flip it. But you do have to remember that something can be called a reciprocal, um, two numbers can be called a reciprocal if their product equals the number 1. That's the actual definition. Okay, so let's talk about how we use this with some of our algebraic expressions. All right, so now this doesn't really look like a reciprocal, um, but it kind of is because through the simplification process you're using the property of reciprocals. But what I've basically said to you is when you, you simplify, then you multiply. So I'm actually going to write the 6a over ab over 1. 3 can go into 6 two times, okay? Now I've simplified all the numbers. I have a negative times a negative, which is going to give me a positive, and so my answer would be 2ab, okay? All right, now again, the reason you're, you're, use, you're using reciprocals is because actually I could have written 6 as 3 times 2, um, and therefore 3 times negative one-third or negative three times negative one-third would give me one, okay? It's just hard to see. Another example. Sometimes um, we, worked with the we worked with the distributive property yesterday, but sometimes I'm going to throw fractions in there to see what you can do. But this, prop this process of simplifying is really using one of the properties of reciprocals. Okay, so remember when we distribute, we want to use arrows because we don't want to forget to distribute that number to everything within, to every term within inside the parentheses. All right, so if I take one-third of 18, one-third times 18, remember, simplify then multiply, 3 goes into 18 six times, so I'd be left with 6b minus one-third times 39, Simplify, then multiply, 3 into itself once, 3 into 39, 13 times. So I've simplified the fraction. I got rid of that one-third, kind of, right, when I distributed it, and I got 6b minus 13. Okay, moving on. We're going to move on to a harder example. All right, now I've got two sets of parentheses that we worked with yesterday, and now I put fractions inside. All right, we're still going to simplify, but we want to be careful. When I distribute, make sure I use my arrows. Now, we really have to think about what's happening here now. We have negative 1 over 20 times 5, okay, 5 over 1. We simplify to 1, and the 20 becomes 4. Now, the 1 is still in the numerator, the 4 is in the denominator, and my answer is negative. So I have negative 1 fourth z, okay? And let me erase that now so that I can have some room. Is that okay? Okay, so let me switch colors now. So now I've got negative 1 over 20 times negative 4. And I'm leaving the variable off because I really just want to deal with the numbers right now. Remember, 4 over 1, I simplify, then multiply. But now I have a negative times a negative, okay? A negative times a negative is going to give me a positive. So I have a positive one-fifth W. All right, moving on. Minus. See that minus there? I've got to remember that minus. So I have a negative 6 times 1 over 30 W. So negative 6 times 1 over 30 is going to give me one-fifth. So minus one-fifth W. Ooh, I already noticed something. Okay, now I've got negative 6 
times negative 1 over 24, which is going to yield a positive. So negative 6 times negative 1 over 24, I know it's going to yield a positive. It's going to give me 1 fourth. Huh. Notice anything there? Remember this week we talked a lot about the opposites. Negative a plus a equals zero. Well, I see lots of opposites there. I see my negative one-fourth and positive one-fourth c, and I see positive one-fifth w and negative one-fifth w. So this whole expression yields a zero. Huh, so funny. Okay, so what did we do today? We talked about what a reciprocal is, the concept of, of reciprocals used in simplification, and then we extended our, our use of the distributive property and threw in some fractions. Okay, so tomorrow we'll talk more about everything, and we'll be practicing, and hopefully you all have a great night. Bye.